I'd like to call to order the Building and Contracts Committee meeting for Tuesday, October 23rd. We do have a couple board members that are who are on, on their way, but we want to try to stay on schedule this evening um, with our agenda and our work. So uh, with that, I'd like to call forth uh, Mr. Saris and Mr. Dixit, and uh, we'll get started with the contracts for review. Gentlemen. So the first item that we have, uh, <clears throat> Exhibit ARA 210-19, uh, Digital Library Resource Multidisciplinary Research Database. This is a new cooperative contract for access to ProQuest online database and digital content for all schools. Approval is requested for a seven-month contract with the option for four one-year extensions with one recommended bidder and contract spending authority of $330,000. And this is a statewide uh, contract uh, implemented by MSDE and uh, Montgomery County Public Schools is the lead agency for all 24 LEAs. Right, thank you. Ms. Hoka, is the 330000 for the seven month, three year, four year period? Is it just for the seven months? It's, it's through, through uh, 2023, four years and seven months. Thank you. All right. And my question was what, what do we do in the absence of, of resources like this? I mean, well, I'll have to ask Mr. Embriali. It's one of several databases like this uh, for this particular database it's been a long time since it's been absent so we've actually had this database since, since 2005 oh. so um, the presence of this resource used to be purchased through um, a consortium contract okay. where in that contract there were a number of separate products that we were purchasing this is separated out in order to demonstrate that it's just ProQuest that we're purchasing, and the consortium is run through Montgomery County, but we have had this since 2005. That wasn't clear to me at first, okay. I don't have any further questions on that one. Thank you. The next item, JMI 604-10, 403B Financial Consulting Services. This is a contract modification to provide for continued consulting and financial analysis for ongoing management of the 403B Voluntary Supplemental Retirement Program for the Department of Human Resources. Approval is requested to increase contract spending authority by $75,000, bringing revised total contract spending authority to $225,000 with the awarded vendor approved by the board in February 2011. Anything, Mr. Yulfelder? I assume when you say it's administered by uh, Human Resources, you're not talking about the investment part of it, just the uh, administration of it. Correct. Uh, the board is the legal sponsor, uh, Human Resources, the administrative office, and the investment committee, which is our representatives from each of the employee bargaining units, uh, actually administer the program with advice from the consultant. Okay. All right, I didn't have anything further on that, uh, the second contract. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next item, MBU 525-12, milk, dairy, and fruit juice products. Uh, this uh, is a contract modification to provide for the continued purchase of milk, dairy, fruit juice, sour cream, cream cheese, yogurt, and eggs for the Office of Food and Nutrition Services. Approval is requested to increase contract spending authority by $700,000, bringing the revised total contract spending authority to $25.2 million with the one vendor approved by the board in May 2012, and this uh, Seven, additional $700,000 is designed to get us through the end of the current fiscal year, at which point a uh, new contract will be in place. All right. 
Could you speak to the factors um, behind the increased student participation and expanded range of meal programs? Uh, I'd like either uh, Ms. Levenstein or one of her <laughs> core. Thank you. Afternoon. We have increased our summer feeding program, our summer program, <clears throat> so the purchase of milk was also part of the summer program. So for the past two to three years since this bid has been in place, we've seen um, a 50% or more increase in summer meals. Okay. <clears throat> also at the start of this school year, we had 14 school breakfast programs, so that we've just seen a rise in our participation in the breakfast program as well. So it does dovetail with that earlier conversation yes. we were having? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Other questions? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Shall we move on? Uh, the next item, KSH 305-19, Personal Protective Equipment Uniforms. This is a new competitively bid contract for personal protective equipment for the Office of Transportation and the Department of Facilities Maintenance. Approval is requested for a five-year contract with two recommended bidders and contract spending authority of $200,000 over the five-year term. Okay. Questions? Next contract. Thank you. Uh, PCR 241-12, Energy Consultant. I'll take care of that. Okay. Uh, this contract is uh, the purpose of the contract, the name change of the company, is Anarnak to NLX. It's a consulting company used by BrickPack. BrickPack is an organization, it's a consortium of 23 local public sector entities that have joined together to purchase commodities. And this consultant helps uh, Anarnak or NLX in developing those strategies. So this is our share of the consultant contract with BrickPack. Brick Pack. Questions? It's just a general Daniels. question. I know we have some very large um, energy savings contracts like with Johnson Controls and Noresco, those kind of, how, how does what this firm does differ from those other kind of arrangements that we have? This this phase of the work has to do with purchase of commodities. Oh. Energy is sold on commodities market, electricity and uh, natural gas. So this is strictly towards that. The other performance contract that you're talking about deals with purchasing equipment and systems, lighting, temperature control systems, efficient borers. And Johnson Control and Enernoc are the two companies that board approved the contract with, and those <coughs> folks are changing equipment mm -hmm. and guaranteeing savings. And it is those savings that we use as leverage to finance the money and pay for those uh, contracts. And they, they don't do any type of energy purchasing? They do not. Right. They, okay. they, may change the, um, they may change from oil to gas, uh, to mm -hmm. save energy, but the purchase of energy is with brick pack. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next contract, please. JMI 620-15, materials contract asphalt. Uh, contract modification for continued purchase of asphalt material and delivery for Department of Facilities Maintenance. Approval is requested to increase contract spending authority by $60,000, bringing the revised total spending authority to $360,000 with two awarded vendors from May 2015. All right. Questions about asphalt? All right. Our next contract. Next item, MWE 802-16, Plumbing Supplies and Equipment. This is a contract modification for the continued purchase of plumbing supplies and equipment for the Department of Facilities Management and Office of Career and Technology Education. 
approval as requested to increase contract spending authority by $316,000, bringing the revised total spending authority to $1.316 million, with the seven awarded vendors approved by the board in November 2015. And the reason for the modification? Uh, the reason is the increased use of plumbing supplies, and that has to do with more number of schools and increasing in the age of old infrastructure. An additional square feet of fully air conditioned space. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay. Our last item is safety shoes. Yes. Uh, this is a new cooperative contract for safety shoes for the Department of Facilities Management. Approval is requested for a two year, three month contract with two one year extensions with three recommended award bidders contract spending authority of $250,000. This is a cooperative contract uh, under Fairfax County government. And the spending authority is for the uh, initial term plus the extension term uh, totaling four years and four months. So if this is a new contract, what were we using before to provide safety shoes? Um, let's see if I have it here. There's a previous expiring contract. I mean, we were providing such shoes, correct? Yes. 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 Um, let's see. Looks Melanie, to be do you have the JMI. detail on the previous contract? I do you not know whether that was a piggyback or something we did ourselves? Okay. Uh, it, was it was a piggyback before. Uh, also with Fairfax? Yes. Okay, so we used the same contract previously with Fairfax County. But they rebid it, apparently? Yes. Okay. Other questions? I just, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I just please. wanted to understand the terms again and how much we had been spending. Um, the last bullet says that we spend <clears throat> $40,000 annually, uh, I believe. Right, and that's between 2013 and 2018. Okay. 20, uh, fiscal year, excuse me, fiscal year 14 through 18. And now this two or three year contract that we're looking at is for a lot more than that much per year. So the average spending is uh, at 40,000 for, uh, Right, for f four and a quarter years, uh, averages about just under $200,000. So um, we did round up uh, slightly. Does that answer your question? I, I think I'm just confused. So the duration of the contract we're looking at is for two years? For four years and oh, okay. four months. All right, that's good then. Okay. I'm good. That clarifies things? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So we are at the end here. Do I have uh, a motion to recommend to the full board for its approval items uh, I-1 through I-8? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Oh. Um, like Ms. Causey. Okay. I think the motion will stand. I think we'll just recognize that items one through three will be warranting additional discussion when it comes before the board. Great, thank you. Okay, so all in favor of recommending for, full, for approval to the full board items I-1 through I-8 with the acknowledgement that items one through three are going to be subject to additional discussion. Please raise your hands. All right, very good, it's unanimous. Uh, that concludes the work of the Building and Contracts Committee. Thank you.